North Baldwin Search and Rescue thought they had a mystery on their hands after responding to a vehicle that apparently disappeared into the tensaw. They knew the driver wasn't inside, but while searching for that by boat, Sonar picked up what looked to be a second vehicle and boat. Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick was on the scene all day long. He's got the story. More than six hours after going into the water, this pickup was winched from the depths of the Tensaw River. By this time, the ordeal had attracted quite a bit of attention as residents at Lower Bryant's Landing gathered to watch. The river's really deep in the middle and it slopes off pretty fast. So I, I, I think that it was at 40, 40 feet, I think is the estimated depth of the river. There's a lot of people in here that are retired and then the rest of them are weekend warriors. You know, so us retirees just, you know, something to do. <laughs> Watch the truck get pulled yeah, out. Either go cut grass. <laughs> it was just after 8 a.m. when North Baldwin Search and Rescue, along with other agencies, responded to Lower Bryant's Landing in Stockton. A witness there told them the driver of the pickup had parked it on the boat ramp and stepped away when it rolled into the river and submerged. Crossroads Fire Department began sonar and, uh, and located a truck in the water with a boat attached to it. So right now we're continuing the, to investigate the, the situation because that's not the truck we were looking for. And we're trying to determine what is this that we found and, and what are we going to do with it. Aaliyah was called in and real concerns arose that what was found may be of a criminal nature. It was when a diver went in the water to check out what the sonar image had shown that they realized they were only dealing with one sunken vehicle, the one from this morning, and potentially an old sunken boat wreckage nearby. Meanwhile, Baldwin County Sheriff's deputies interviewed the owner of the pickup that had gone into the water and determined he did not live at the landing. Those who do live there said he's been hanging around the last few days and didn't seem to be in a clear state of mind. I met the guy Monday, saw him on the road coming out. Thought it was kind of strange, but they said he kept coming back. So, Fortunately, the only casualty was the truck. Reporting from Stockton, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Okay, now listen to this. Hal just called us and he said Daphne Search and Rescue arrived on the scene later this afternoon to run their high-tech 3D imaging sonar. They discovered another vehicle in the water, but they also said they're going to come back another day to retrieve it because they don't believe it's tied to any criminal investigation.